everybody. Um, this is Tara with Handmade with Tara. And I'm going to show you how I made this card. This is from the new um, mini catalog um, that just came out. And uh, it was made with the Hello Harvest. Hello Harvest stamp set. So, super easy. I'll show you how I put everything together. All right. So, first of all, I'll tell you all the things that you're going to need. You're going to need the Hello Harvest stamp set. You're going to also need the rustic pumpkin dies also the brick and mortar um, 3d embossing folder and then also an embossing machine obviously and then i believe i used the mossy meadow stamping ink for my sentiment on this one okay All right, so some measurements here. So this is basic black cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay, so let me just, okay, so that's the first thing, the first cut you're gonna make, and then two you'll need two of the basic white and then I use different metrics so two basic white and I use cut it at 13 and one half centimeters by 10 and one half centimeters so this is just an easier way to find the measurement instead of counting by sixteenths or by eighths um, it's just if you're um, doing inches it is a little bit less than like a a um, than this card so like this is five and a half by four and a four and a quarter uh, scored at four and a quarter so when you fold it in half yeah, I'll show you when we're gonna fold it in half and then the basic whites gonna go on top like this and there's just an eighth of an inch rim that's going to be all the way around here so instead of going to five and a half you go to five and a half and then go back two ticks um, so in the same with the inside part here okay so hopefully that didn't confuse you so this is inches five and a half by uh, eight and a half scored a four and a, and a fourth four and a quarter inches now this is centimeters, 13 and one half by 10 and one half centimeters. And you need two of those, okay? So that's the second thing that you need. And then the third thing you're gonna need is a piece that's cut four and, a half, four, a four and one fourth inches by three and one fourth inches, four and a quarter by three and a quarter basic black again okay and then this is designer series paper that I cut four inches by three inches and this is the well it's one other thing that you're going to need for this project that I forgot to mention at the beginning which was the Rustic Harvest designer paper. So Rustic Harvest designer paper. And this paper, I already cut into it, you can see, but here's some of the, and of course it's double-sided, so you can kind of see both sides there. Okay. All right, 
right, so this is from that designer series paper. All right, and then the next thing you're gonna need is one piece of designer paper, a different designer paper, uh, cut in one and one half inches, one and a half inches by 10 and a half centimeters. So two different metrics here, just to make it easier because this is like a 16th inch, you know, tick or an eighth inch tick. So we don't wanna have to cut the, count those out. It's just easier to look at the 10 and a half mark on the centimeter side, okay? And then for the sentiment, this is again, two different metrics, two inches by two centimeters for the sentiment piece. Here, I'll just flip that over. And that's on basic white. Okay. And then from the dies, the rustic pumpkin dies, we're going to use this big one here. And I used it on some designer paper in the same designer series paper. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay. And then I also did all the little, all the little vines. So, and I used the green again, uh, the same one that I used before. So I used the green with this green designer series here, Mossy Meadow is the color. Okay, so if you're following along with me, or if you're pausing the video so that you can write down all the measurements, remember that I have two sets of metrics because I thought that that would be easier than doing, you know, marking it down to the 16th or to the 8th inches. So I did inches and centimeters. So as long as you have the Stampin' Up! cutter, you should be fine. If you decide that you want to make this card, Okay, I'll just give you another second to write down all those measurements. Okay, and now we're just going to start assembling. So the first thing that I'm going to do too is I'm going to take one of these basic white and I'm going to use the 3D brick embossing folder. So on this. So I'm going to go ahead and run that through my Stampin' Up! Stampin' uh, Up! Uh, embossing machine. Sorry. Okay, and so when you run it through, I just realized as I ran mine through, I was running it over from, um, you wanna do the brick so that's facing from top to bottom. So then it comes out and it looks like that. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And then the stamp choice that I used was this hello right here, right? So 
that's just going to go on my block and this is a size C block it fits perfectly on that size C uh, Stampin' Up block so in Mossy Meadow is the color that I'm going to use so I'm just going to set that pumpkin up here for a second so that's this one so I went ahead and I already stamped it just for the sake of time okay so I'm just gonna start setting these over here so I can start building this up hopefully you have the measurements now so for these two pieces they fit together here and this is all double-sided double-sided um, designer series paper so you can use whichever side you like better it doesn't really have to be this exact one if you don't like it and then just kind of I like to use the green glue so it slides around a little bit and then I can get it lined up the way that I like it the best that I can okay that's one and then this one and this one okay so I already folded that in half and I'm just going to use my bone folder to make that nice and flat and then this piece is going to go on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. And if you're going to do a sentiment on the inside of the card as well, I would suggest stamping it before you attach it because if you mess up, then you can fix it. But if you already attached it and you mess up, then you might have to start over. Right? Now this is going to go on the inside and there's just going to be a little tiny rim all the way around of black. So I'm just going to move that a little bit. There we go. So choosing not to stamp the inside of this one for this card. And then on the outside is where I'm going to do my brick and mortar here. So again, let's just use some of that green glue. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach that to the front here. Again, with just a little edging of that black, that basic black. Got a little bit of glue on my finger. All right, so this is what it lo looks like so far. Okay. And you can see that really nice. There it is, that texture. So our card now has that really beautiful texture. And now the next part I want to do is I want to attach this part. So. I debated on whether or not to put this up on dimensionals. I decided against it. I think I didn't really need the dimensionals yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach this down with green glue. And super easy. Make sure that you attach it, if it has a pattern, make sure you attach it the right way. And then again, I'm just like kind of eyeballing this to put it down. It does not have to be perfect, but just kind of putting it down in the middle of that really beautiful brick and mortar side of the card. All right, the next step is the green Band. We're going to do that across the middle. 
Well, I'm like one of those people that I hate covering up DSP, and I actually don't like covering up like if you do a really nice embossing job on the back. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta cover it up, but that's okay. Just to add some more elements. So again, just eyeballing that, kind of putting it over that center pumpkin on the paper because I know I'm going to put my own pumpkin on the top. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this pumpkin. Again, that's double sided. So just add a couple. Oh, this probably really good. Just like that. And then I kind of catty cornered it like that. Just like that and then so for the hello I definitely I just put a dimensional on one side of it not both and I'm actually even going to just put it on my card here like this because I think that's easier because I can see <laughs> and I'm going to set this right on top of it like that and then I'm going to add my little curly cues. It's the last thing I'm going to do. And I'm actually going to use this fine tip glue pen because there are very tiny little pieces here. Oops, I just dropped one on the floor. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the back. like this and this one I have going up the wall so I'm going to do this one first somebody is bringing me up Yeesh. okay so that looks good going to do this one which is down at the bottom of my first one so I'm going to just do it like I did before use that like a fine tip glue to get it right in this bottom corner And this one I put on the top of the pumpkin. So I kind of did it like this. So I'm going to add this just like. Maybe. And that's it.
super easy. Not a ton of stamping on this one. It's mostly about showcasing that beautiful paper and that new pumpkin, Hello Harvest pumpkin set and dies. Rustic pumpkin dies. So that's it for tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed that quick card. Super, super easy. Just about cutting some paper and assembling and then just giving a nice little greeting there. All right. Thank you for joining me. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos and new tutorials coming in the future. Thank you.